It's seven in the morning and Frankie is running late, again. Today the Saturdays are doing a photo shoot for Heat magazine, which Frankie should have left for 15 minutes ago. I always manage to be late, but I don't really know why. Well, yesterday I was half an hour late because um, I was downloading something. But this Saturday always likes to look her best. Leave in a minute. Oh, it's gonna be late again. Outfit number two isn't up to scratch. I don't know if I want to wear this now. So I'm gonna change again. And this is actually how I always end up late. I can never make up my mind. Twenty minutes later and Frankie appears, wearing a totally different outfit. And then now I'm on the way to work, I'm thinking I wish I'd stayed in what I was wearing. I won't get in trouble, I hope. But I'm really hungry as well, so I want to get something to eat. Arriving for the photo shoot and still starving, Frankie grabs the first brekkie she sees, despite it not being what she ordered. I think they thought I wanted it on toast. What is? Before she's told it actually belongs to Molly. I'm trying to make it look like I didn't catch it. I'll stop it, you already have. It's all right, she doesn't think so much. No. I think she might. Should we go and get my breakfast? Get my breakfast. I think it's here. There it is. Ugh, it doesn't look great, does it? Someone's been eating at my breakfast. It looks like a, it looks like a mouse was in there. Something's been in there. Something and has been in there. I don't know whether it's a human or a dog. And this is something like my idea of hell. I can't stand butter on, on bread, but I only take margarine on toast when it's really piping hot and melted. Oh. When it's really hot, pipe and hot and melt it, and this one is. Has somebody been in my, in my breakfast? This well, one. Basically. You've been well, oh my breakfast. God. No, I didn't. Like, no, no, I didn't. Back. I didn't she eat does. it. Can I tell you what happened? There's nothing wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong with it. You can have, eat it. It's just that I thought, because I was meant to have scrambled eggs and um, beans, and I cancelled my order and ordered toast. So I thought that they'd given me scrambled eggs on toast. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Vanessa's dog Peaches decides to explore the set, and no Saturday's photo shoot would be complete without a doggy accident. Peaches is pooped, and I'm not cleaning it up. Peaches, come out of the way of it. She's still going. Vanessa, run. Peaches. Oh, it's my fault. I forgot to bring her travel pad. Oh, oh it's <laughs> But Molly's not going to let Vanessa get away with just wiping the floor. Have you cut the poo out of her bum yet? No, because it really hurts her. You and dirty, it's really... dirty, no, but, no, dirty but I haven't got round to it yet. Because it hurts her. She's crying, look. She is not. She you does. still want to try to I've tried to the baby wipes, but so they didn't come out. cut this out. Yeah, yeah. She has that really got there. There you go. All done. Hey, <laughs> <to me. laughs> let me just see. Is there any more? Wait. Does anybody else want me to uh, cut a two out of their bum? <laughs> Frankie, oh, I have a little bit from bend over. <laughs> She's nothing if not thorough. Time for the girls to get down and dirty for the photo shoot. Cue a grimy green prison cell, regulation orange boiler suits, and fake tattoos. We're like jailbirds, and um, we're all still quite glam. And this is my um, tattoo sleeve. If any of us can pull this bad boy off, then we're doing well. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. But just before the shoot begins, Peaches can't resist a second visit to the set. Oh, is it in the set now as well? Yeah, a little bit of pee in the set. <laughs> it's such a bad mum. Oh. With Peaches having given the set an authentic prison smell, the shoot can finally begin. That's it. The photographer shoots each Saturday separately. But the images will all be superimposed next to each other to form a group shot. Trying to get Molly to take it seriously, though, is a tough call. I'm trying to keep a straight face. I keep laughing at myself. Right, I'm going to have to give you the screen. Screen? The screen? Why not? I can't. You can. Yeah, yeah, you're going to look at me, then I'm going to get off. Now, don't worry, I'll join the off screen with you if you want. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, 
Three, two, one. Don't give up the day job, Molly. That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. After a long day's work, the girls get out of jail free. But it's clear who's had the best time. She's had a lovely day today, haven't you, Peaches? She's like, uh, You've got green on your hands because you stepped in paint. <laughs> She's had a great day. Today in central London, the Saturdays have lined up a one-off gig for an audience of 300 lucky competition winners. Yeah, we're all really excited about it and it's local, it's in London as well, so a few of the girls' families and friends are coming along and boyfriends and etc. So, it's, yeah, it's cool. Amongst the family and friends is Una's boyfriend, England rugby star Ben Foden, and he's clearly an avid fan. Past gigs that I've been to, I've watched sort of all over the place. Sometimes I'm in the front, sometimes at the side, depending on. Normally, if it's a new show and I haven't seen it before, then I watch it from the front just because I want to. It's, it's quite a different thing to watch from the side, and you just it doesn't quite look as cool and as smooth. <laughs> you just see the five girls sort of prancing around at different different angles, so it doesn't really look as good. But when you watch them front on, you just realise that it's a show and it's sort of like you know a bit more like a pantomime, whereas side on you get to see what it, what it really is and it's just five girls busting out a few dance moves. <laughs> Back at the club, Molly demonstrates a natural sense of rhythm. in the singing, sticking to the drums next time, at least I can have a good sit down, I don't have to worry about putting on the tight dresses, so uh, yeah, forget the sats, I'm going to be the drummer. <laughs> Mid makeup, Rochelle realises she's forgotten to get an important birthday present. My last birthday, I don't know what to get because singing, what if you take head to dinner somewhere, not even somewhere fancy, just somewhere to see you. Well, I might just get some vouchers for Primark, because she'll love to do that. Yeah. And she'll probably spend them throughout the year. Rochelle persuades tour manager Mark to allow her out for an hour to buy something for her mum. I'm actually surprised Mark has let me go when we've got sound check in an hour. But he knows I've got to get my mum's birthday present, so it's a bit of a must. What can I get my mum? I think she wants vouchers. I mean, I know I'll get her a coral lipstick because she loves that. Coral. Half an hour later, Rochelle leaves the store with bandmate Molly, who's also managed to sneak out for a spot of shopping. I got her a bracelet and I got her um, some, like, Chanel body and stuff. But you can't buy presents and not get yourself something. Buying this, so you're just yeah. going for it. Impulse. But I got 10% no. off because there's a tiny little snag on, which happens anyway because they always catch. Oh, this is so nice. Isn't it lovely? The clock's ticking, and this pair of Saturdays need to get back for the sound check before Mark explodes. Yeah, so let's hurry up because, because he said there's no chance, there's no point in you going because you're going to get there and you're going to have about 10 minutes there. And I was like, Mark, I promise you I can do it. He's like, you're always late, you're always late. So now. To be honest, if I'd have had my way, I would have left there 25 minutes ago. If not, no, seriously though, wasn't I ready to go? They arrive back at the club in the nick of time, but on her way in, Molly decides to really wind Mark up. Oh, I just need to quickly, I just have to quickly get the card and I'll be back. <laughs> no, she's not. I'm here with Nikki. I ran really late. Marky! We were joking! We were joking! Marky, was you? Oh, 
No, I was going to come in here with a straight face and be angry, but I couldn't. I was joking oh, myself. No. I said, oh, don't stress him. I've got a sweaty head. I can see him. Don't no. touch me all sweaty. No, I knew he'd be all sweaty. Would I be like... Yes. No. It's just a certain thing you do, my lady. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, no, but, no, but I have to. Oh, no. With half an hour to go, Mark teaches Frankie some new moves. And Rochelle's boyfriend, Marvin from JLS, arrives to cheer the girls on. Are you ready to dance the night away? Of course I am. Yes, sir. But as Rochelle and Marvin get loved up, things between Una and Ben are breaking down. And then I went, oh, did you get me a glass of water? I'm really thirsty. And he went, oh, you're demanding today, aren't you? I was like, I'm not demanding. I get said, the glass of water, put on the side. She goes, I want your water, I'll throw it in your face. So I said, fine, you get like that, I'll go home. And I said, yeah, fine, go home. And he walked out, right? And I was gone. Are we good to go this time? With excitement running high, it's time for an intimate performance for just 300 fans. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. The gig goes smoothly, and the girls got closer than ever to their fans. It was so weird, though, them being so close to you, like, you could touch them. Like, like, I love you! Uh, but it was awesome. It was so, so sweaty, and so I just sweaty. really got into it. To yeah, I did. It was so yeah. good. Yeah. But days like this make everything so worth it, like, so all the travelling and everything. Yeah, just to, like, see the fans, how much they love it, and just to go out there and do what we love to do. You know, this is what we want to do every day, so, oh, so you have to put up with some travelling and stuff, but this is what it's about. <laughs> As the paps scramble for one last picture, the girls are bundled into their cars and head off into the night. Next time on the Saturdays 24-7, the paps go sats crazy. That was real chaos. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything like that again. The audience get tough on tour. And the girls get some good news. Hello, Celebrity Joe Sands back! Yes! And it's going to be asking all the important questions, such as who's the sexiest, Lady Gaga or me? Keith Lemon. Celebrity Juice next Thursday at 10 on ITV2.